Hey y'all, this is Video Face Creations. This is the first part of the um, craft fair series. Um, so this is where I do ideas for craft shows. This one, these first couple of videos are going to be specifically Halloween. Uh, you can also do these ideas for Christmas and later on um, towards November you will see some, um, some of these in a Christmas theme as well, actually, you will see these, um, pretty much all of the, the majority of these also in a Christmas, done in a Christmas theme. So, let me get started. Um, the first thing, um, that I do for craft shows is I buy these drink, um, these, um, drink mugs that are really popular and a lot of people like these. This one's a clear one. I do have colored ones I'm working on. So, this is one I did for Halloween, and it's in purple, black, and silver themed. So, super cool. Love that little eyeball. But that is one idea, is to alter these, the lids of these. And I believe these are... You have to hand wash these anyways. So you would hand wash this, hand wash the straw, and then you would um, clean out the lid. Um, you wouldn't run the top underwater, but you would just rinse out the bottom. So that is one idea, is the mug. The, where'd my cat go? <laughs> the second thing I do a lot is my badge ID clips. Um, and these, um, I've not, never seen anyone do them like the way I do and I actually just got it copyrighted to my business name so I'm really happy about that so um yeah I did some Halloween ones so the first one I did is this zombie one I'm gonna hold it up so you guys can see it so not a zombie I'm sorry this is a vampire one so really 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 cute so that's the first one the second one is the mummy or zombie one. I think it's more like a mummy. A little more vintage looking. Then I did two um, with like candy corn themed and pumpkin. So this is the first one. If it will focus. There we go. This is the first one which has the smaller candy corn and the tall pumpkin and a flower on it. And then the second one has a giant pumpkin and a giant candy corn and just like a bling and stuff. So, super, super pretty. So there's that one. Sorry if you see red. Um, it's just like fake blood on my hands. <laughs> and then I did two black and white ones. So the first one I did here is with a black, glittery black cat some bling pieces and a ghost super 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 cute and then the other one is with a skeleton and there's a bat and some bling and a spider web so I love that skeleton so cute and then I did a witch pumpkin one so you have the magic crystal ball some bling and some flourish, a skull, and the witch pumpkin. Super, super cute. I love this one. And then my two favorite ones, which are the dragon eye ones. So I did a pink and blue one. There's another one of those dragon eyes with lots of different blings on here. These are my favorite because they remind me of dragons. And it has the cross on it and then this really pretty spiky blue trim looks so awesome come on focus there we go kind of sort of so super awesome and then I also got I'm sorry I also made a blue one this one is my favorite specifically because my favorite color is blue and I just love it so that is the other idea the next thing 
is, um, you guys would probably guess, paper straws. But these are really elaborate decorative pieces that you can use as home decor. So these I made using paper straws and then felt spider webs from Target. And then the spider, glittered spider chipboard is also Target. And the giant pom-poms is also Target. Dollar Spot. Um, the eyeballs I used is Target Dollar Spot and AC Moore. And then um, the fibers are just miscellaneous fibers. The ornaments I used are from the Dollar Spot at Target. And then the little hat I used is from AC Moore. And the two bows were handmade from somebody and gifted to me. So here's like the plain one. So this one's green and black. Isn't he cute? I made these giant spiders. And you can see the, the ornaments with the fibers. They're so cute. So there's that one. And then I did an orange and black one. And he's really cool looking. This one I think is my favorite. I would say. So it's this guy. He is my favorite. He has a little witch hat. And then these are the girly ones. So this is the purple and green one. Which the cute eyes. I'm sorry, it's kind of bright here. My camera has to kind of adjust. I don't know why it's so... There we go. Maybe... I don't know why it's being so bright. This one has some colorful ones and the ornaments. I'm going to blue for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it's just right. And then this is the pink one with the bow in her, on her head. And again, these have orange ornaments. So I love how these came out. So there's another idea. The next idea is the um, tea light candle gift sets. So I'm just going to share them with you. I have cutesy ones and spooky ones. There is one here that I don't have because I already sold it. But I like to go all out with my packaging. So here's the first one. The second one. And that's the back. The third one. The fourth one, the fifth one, this one's more cutesy, the sixth one, and the seventh one. Like I said, I had eight, but I already sold the other one. So those are another, another idea. The next idea are my Play-Doh gift sets. These are with the smaller ones. I'm also doing larger ones for a custom order, so I will share them when I'm done. I am almost done with them, but these are the two pack of the mini ones. And again, I like to go all out with my packaging. So here's the first one. The second one. The third one. This is my favorite. Fourth one and the fifth one I have. Super cute so there's another idea then I also created um, handmade um, eraser paper clips and I did green and orange packs um, so I'm gonna just share with you the packaging for those so you can see here and this is the back has one of these candy corns to cover the staple and they're all like that with the little candy corn. So, those, those, and then I did orange ones. So, I'd have these. These. And this one. And then I did pencil kits. So I have three of each, um, two of them I have two of each because I already sold two. 
So, and I packaged them with doilies and cupcake wrappers and embellishments. And I handmade these boxes and covered them with paper. So I made these from scratch. Myself came up with my own pattern. So there's the first kind. And they're identical, pretty much. This is the third kind. I'm sorry about the glare. There's three of them. The fourth, or just no. This is the sec third set. These are Renee Bouquet Butterflies, and these are witch themed. Really cute. So I have those. And then these are, um, these are the other ones I only have two of. These have spiders on them again. Again, I like to go all out with my packaging. These are the more adult sets, which are black, white, silver, and gold. So there's this first set, which has um, this um, tombstone, and these have the skulls on them. And then the other ones have this type of tombstone, and they have the skull. And these have the bats with the haunted houses. So there's the other idea. Um, another idea is to paint wine glasses or champagne glasses. So I created this Jack Skeleton one. So I redid the box. It was white, so I painted it with stripes, added lace. I put new acetate on it, added this bat and ribbon and rosette. And I painted the inside black, stamped some spiders, and I painted them Jack and Sally. So, there's another idea. And then, um, my other one, I'm mass producing a bunch of coffins. So I have them all spray painted, all the paper cut out. I just have to cover them and then decorate all of them. So here's two examples of that so if you make and sell these I cover the top with washi tape because it fits perfectly the bottom with paper and then the top and I distress the paper but here's two this is a feminine one this is more traditional Halloween and um, I just cover the inside with paper so really cute and quick awesome project especially if you mass produce them and do all the pieces at once again I distress the edges and um, yeah lots of fun so there's that, and then the last one idea for this specific video is my card card boxes. So here is an example of a card box. You guys have probably seen this before. Again, I mass produce these, paint them all at once, cover them all at once, and I decorate them all at once. Um, and again, I cover the inside. And that's where you write your message. So, yeah, there is my first part of this. The next part of this for Halloween is a bunch of, like, treat sets and stuff that I sell. So you'll see that. And, yeah. So, and then, like, projects and stuff. And then later on, like I said, you'll see Christmas stuff. So I'll talk to y'all soon. Hopefully this guys um, this helped you and gave you ideas. And hopefully you really appreciate the amount of work I put into my stuff. Um, I go all out, make it very professional looking and very pretty because that's what sells. And I have a lot of fun doing it and it's worth the time. So I hope you guys can appreciate that as well and get inspired by my work. And I will talk to you all soon. Let me know if you have any questions. Please like this video. Uh, subscribe, follow me on my Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and I think that's it. <laughs> They're all Brittany po Pochick. Uh, Brittany's Creations LLC is my Facebook page, and then you can also friend me on Facebook as Brittany Pochick. Um, and I will talk to y'all soon. And hopefully, if you guys go see, I have a giveaway coming up. Um, my Halloween challenge giveaway, flipbook challenge. So hopefully you guys will check that out and participate. There's a $35 prize um, gift card for the winner. So yeah, enjoy. Bye guys.